Hello Kat here, today we're going to make the pop-up balloon box card from Cricut Design Space. So I cut all the pieces on my Cricut Maker and we have all the cut lines and score lines on here ready to go. And firstly we're going to fold the box part of the card. So take that piece and fold along each score line one at a time and that creates the box base for the balloons. And this is Reflections Glue. I like to use this because it dries clear and it dries quickly. So we're going to glue along the tab on the edge of that box. And then make sure you hold it together in place until the glue is dry. Next, take the pink balloons. We're going to put those in first. And what you want to do is slide the top pieces on first. In this part, I did the bottom bits and realized I'd done it backwards. So slide the top bits on first so that it's all the way down in the box and then you can poke the tabs at the bottom through the inside of the box in the right position. So you'll notice that the balloons all have slits in different spots. The blue and the light blue and the pink both have slits at the top. And the darker blue and the yellow have the slits at the bottom. So it's the ones with the slits at the top that you want to start with, regardless of what colours you chose to cut them in. So again, we're going to do exactly what we did with the pink one, except slightly further back. Slide the slots in at the top and then poke the other bits, the tabs through the middle on the base, as you can see, just like that. Now it's time to take the yellow one. So the slits are at the bottom for the yellow and the dark blue. So you're going to crisscross them over the pink and the light blue, creating, of course, that box shape. Slide it in all the way down and then poke the tabs through. And then the same with the blue as well. I've sped it up a bit here so you can see how it's done. If it's correct, it will fold flat very, very easily and that's how it'll look inside the card when it's closed. This is the top outside edge of the box. So you're gonna fold just along the score lines on each of the corners. This also has slits all the way around it. So this is gonna go around the top of the box. So what you're gonna do is line up each of the tabs to go in each of the slits. All the way around it can be a little fiddly um, and you want to make sure that you hold them in place as you go around because you put more in some can pop out so hold them down pop all the tabs in once you have the tabs in all the way around you've got a little tab at the end here of that top piece so you want to just stick a little bit of glue on it and then tuck it underneath the first outside edge I actually use my tweezers here to squeeze it and hold it in place for a little bit, just while the glue. The glue does dry really, really quickly, but you want to make sure it's not going to slide around while it's drying. And again, test that it folds flat, and you're good to go. Okay, so we're going to fold the card in half down at the score line. This is obviously the outside piece of the card. So line the edges up, fold it down, and I use my Cricut tool to make sure that crease is really sharp. Then we're going to take the two inside pieces of white cardstock. Now it's important that you stick these in the right way round because if the slits are at the wrong angle then the balloon will poke out of the top of the card. So you want the edges that are flat with no cutouts in the center of the card and the slits at the top because the balloon box will fold down inside the card. So pull the tabs through those slits now and then you're going to glue them into place. While that was drying I decided to make my envelope. I do tend to make my own envelopes and actually this design has the envelope already in design space so you can cut it out of one sheet of paper or cardstock. I like to use pattern paper because it's a little bit different and it's nice and lightweight as well for mailing. So once this is dry, you can test that the pop-up actually works. 
and then all you're going to do is glue the white pieces into place onto the blue card. Careful not to get any glue or sticky on the inside of the cutouts where for example you would see them in the very front of the card. If you'd like to see more of my pop-up cards I have some more on my channel so do check those videos out like and subscribe and make sure you have your notifications on so you know when I upload my new videos hopefully each week I will be able to bring you something new whether it's a card or an ornament or any kind of crafty thing I might be making thanks for watching I'll see you all soon